Hey there, Python trainer Ruven Lerner here, and today I want to show you the wear and mask methods in Python. These are basically ways for us to retrieve values that fit a particular condition and also replace those that don't fit the condition with a different value. You can think of it as sort of like an if-else for an entire series or an entire data frame. So I'm going to load up import numpy as np, import pandas as pd from pandas import series and data frame. And now I'm going to say np random seed zero so that you and I can have the same numbers. Then I'll say s equals a series that's based on np random randint from zero to 1000. Oh, and I want 10 numbers. And I'm going to say here the index is equal to list of a, b, c, d, f, g, h, i, j. Great. I now have my series. So now what I want to do is I want to find all of those values that are greater than, let's say, 300. Well, I can do that. I can say s is greater than 300. And if I do this, what do I get back? Well, I'm running comparison. And the result of a comparison is a Boolean. But I'm running this comparison against a series. So comparing with a series, broadcast that comparison. And now I get true and false values for each of the elements in the series. I get back a series, a Boolean series. I can then say s.lock of s is greater than 300. And so I apply my Boolean series as a mask index, getting back only those values that are greater than 300. And sure enough, I get those. What if I want to replace the values that are not greater than 300 with, let's say, nan? Can I do that? Well, let's see. I could say s.lock, where s is less than or equal to 300, equals npnan. And sure enough, if I now look at my series, I have changed it. Wherever the number is less than or equal to 300, we have nan. And wherever it's greater than 300, our original condition, we've still got it. So this is how I could do this kind of clunky replacement. But there is a better way, and I'm just going to grab my creation of my series. And the better way, as you can probably guess, is to use where or mask. So I'm now going to say s dot where s is greater than 300. And this means wherever the value is greater than 300, keep the value. In other cases, right, else, give me nan. And sure enough, that's what I get. By the way, by the way, you can see that all of our integers have been turned into floats, both in my previous example and in this one, because nan is a float and thus it coerces the entire uh, D type to be a float, but that's a separate issue. What if I don't want nan? What if I want some other value? Well, I can say s where s is greater than 300. I can say minus one. And now wherever the value in s is greater than 300, it will be kept. And wherever it's not greater than 300, we get minus one instead. We can pass a callable as the second argument. So I can say s where s is greater than 300. And what's a callable? A callable is a function, basically. It could also be a class. And I'm going to create an anonymous function using lambda. I'm going to say lambda s underscore. That means that s underscore will be a parameter in this lambda. We want to call it s because it's got a series. It is a series, but we don't want to confuse ourselves with the main s. So s underscore is pretty common. And I can say s underscore times minus one. What does that mean? It means that if, it means that first of all, we are going to create a new series a new series, which is the same as our original s, but multiplied by minus one. And we are going to use the corresponding value from that new series to replace any value in s that is not greater than 300. And that's what we get. So where s is greater than 300, we get the number. Where it's not, we get the inverse of that number. It's not the inverse, the negative version of that number. Let's, let's use our correct mathematical terms or as best as I can. So I can do whatever I want. I can say s where, let's say s modulo 2 equals equals 0. So that's going to keep only the even numbers. But I can also say lambda s underscore s underscore plus 1. So if it's even, I want to keep it. And if it's not, I want to add 1 to it. And what do you know? Now all the numbers are even. So you can really do all sorts of stuff there. Again, if you don't pass that second value, second argument, you're going to get nan back. If you do, you can pass either a value or a uh, lambda. You can do any other sort of function, but lambda is pretty typical. So what is mask? The opposite of where. Meaning, where our condition is false, keep the value. And where our condition is true, um, you know, use the, use the second argument 
you know, value or lambda. So if I say here, let's do exactly the same thing. Wherever, I'm going to say here, mask. So wherever s modulo 2 equals equals 0, basically wherever it's odd, we're going to keep the number. And wherever it's even, then we're going to run our lambda. We're going to get back a series. And we're going to plug in the number from that series, making all the values uh, um, odd instead of just one of, instead of, you know, just some of them. I should add, by the way, wear and mask do not modify the original series on which they're running. That's right, they return a new series. That's great because it allows us to use it in method chaining. So this is pretty great, but you might be thinking, well, I wonder if wear and mask exist for data frames as well. That is a great question. And the answer is yes. If I say NP random seed again, and then I say DF equals a data frame, NP random, randint 0 to 1000, we'll say four by four. Okay, and now I say index is list of A, B, C, D, and the columns are gonna be list of W, X, Y, Z. Now we have our data frame, and now I can say DF where DF of X is greater than, let's say, uh, 300, Actually, they're all really, let's say greater than 600. So if I now say df where dfx is greater than 600, what is this condition going to tell me? Well, it's going to find all the places where the column x is greater than 600, and that is true in two cases and false in two cases. Where it is true, the entire row, that's right, the entire row comes back to us as nan. I'm sorry, where it's true, we get the value, and where it's false, this is where here, where it's true, we get the values for that entire row, and where it's false, we get nan. Can I pass a value instead? Of course I can. I can say here, um, instead, you know, minus one. And then the default value is not NAND, but it's minus one. Can I pass in, oh, I don't know, a data frame there? Let's try it. What if I do minus one times DF? Yeah. So what we're saying here is if the number is greater than 600 in X, if the number in the X column is greater than 600, keep the numbers in that row. But if it's not greater than 600, then multiply the values in that row by minus one. In any event, you can see then that what happened was where the number was greater than 600 in X. Remember, it's very important. Our condition here is on X. So where the value in X is greater than 600, we keep the values in that row. And where the value is not greater than 600, then we just add three to whatever value was there. Now mask works exactly the same way, but the opposite, right? So I can say DF mask of DF of X greater than 600 minus one times DF, and sure enough, I'm going to get back the negatives there, right? So notice that now where X is greater than 600, we are multiplying it by one, minus one. And where the value is not greater than 600, we keep the original value. Okay, I hope that this was a useful introduction to mask and where, or if you prefer where and mask. Let me know what you think. Let me know what other topics you want me to go into. And I will be back soon with more about Python and pandas.